All right, guys, this is Mufasa 2. Sorry about my voice. Uh, I got a little cold here, but um, just showing you the new Sanwa clears with the Arc I2s installed. So uh, a lot of people have been saying uh, it probably won't work because of clearance issues. So here is, if it will zoom in, is the button itself. And as you see, there's little to no clearance for anything in there. Um, and as you see, the there's no real pillar inside for you if you'd like to double tape. Not double tape, but um, use painter's tape or use some tapes to make a your Arc I2 install um, not permanent um, but that solution is not available so you'll probably have to get some hot glue and glue them in to make them a permanent install because there's nothing to really tape around but this is just to illustrate just to show you the spacing between the plunger and the bottom of the button itself. Here's one with the arc I installed. Oh, there we go. Sorry, it's uh, this is one of my first ones I did, so it's not the cleanest one. But as you see here, there's the arc I. It's not glued in. I just threw it in there to see uh, the clearance and whatnot. So as you see, I took a Dremel to the plunger. So you actually have room for the button to go down and work as usual. Before, if you didn't do anything, uh, the button will probably move about that much, probably 30% down, and that'll be as far as you can go. Um, it depends if you, I mean the button, the plunger still activates the button, and uh, it actually still functions properly, but if you want that full button motion you'll need to actually take a Dremel to it so I'll try to zoom in as best I can so as you see there the plunger so what you'll have to do is basically trim uh, the plunger and then here on the side these two picks you'll have to actually run a Dremel or something on the back of it so that it will actually clear the um, Arc I2 PCV or else it'll just snag on it as you go down and it'll probably get stuck or try and pull your board up. So that's just to show you that um, yes with modification you can get them to work. Um, that's just to show you. So one sec while I close these blinds and I'll actually uh, light it up to show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so this is probably the darkest place I could probably do at this time of the day. But here is it lit up. Sadly, it's kind of hard to actually show you actual light in the dark, but uh, turned out pretty nicely. Um, I kind of like them. Uh, Versus the Sumitsu, it's kind of hard to see. Um, you see the plunger itself behind the light, but with these Sanwas, it's it's a little bit harder to actually see the plunger through the light. Uh, you can turn down the brightness with uh, resistors, or depending on what LED controller you're using, you can adjust accordingly so that you won't have that effect. Uh, but this is, uh, I guess to show, I guess you Rod Chan and uh, a few others in the board who was wondering that, uh, yes, you can have your son was light up with the Arc I2s, but obviously it'll take some modification to the plunger to actually get it to actually work for you completely as a button. So that's that and uh happy modern to you guys and um yeah